Greetings, my and model maniacs. It's Panzer Man Bill, Panzer Man's Bunker, coming to you with update number one on the Frankie Day Appreciation Group build hosted by our wood model mayhem. Oh, 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 Frankie, we love you. You the man. Okay. Only the update. Airfix 170, 172nd scale. Devastator. Blah. <laughs> Those great audio visuals. Uh, of course, you saw the cockpit where I added some details. And I did some conversions to the crew members. A little more animation, domination. Added some ribbing on the inside for her pleasure. Ribbing. <laughs> Painted up the cockpit. Cockpit. Funny word. Cockpit. Painted up the crew members. I should have painted two of them like in blues, cause uh, be unlisted, but uh, they're all officers, so I'll make them all officers. Checking the fit, join it together using the clamps. Put the clamps on it, there, Frankie. Put the clamps on it. Working the wings together. I did paint the inside, so like when you look up, it would be green. You know, so. Putting everything together, all the major components, sanded the wing roots. It was, it was a nice fitting kit for an old kit. All right, torpedo bay, uh, landing gear, and a hook on it. Painted the inside of the engine cowling and uh, engine, ready for uh, installation. Air scoop, I did putty. A little air scoop on the back of that. All right, side intakes, air uh, exhaust, drilled out, torpedo made, made a little detonator on the end the tor torpedo fuse all right uh, this right here I'm gonna pause it I wanted the cockpit uh, canopy or the canopies to look like they were you know not all oh I wanted them to be slid back so being a thick ass plastic they always give you I actually had to sand and I mean really really sand down the back piece where the gunner is and it went up by where the uh, pilot sits so that they would, you know, slide together and look a little more natural. Because as they were, they just, they were too damn thick. So it took a lot of sanding and then uh, increasing uh, fineness of grit and then buffing it. And then uh, later I hit it with the, the future and it came out pretty clear. I could have done a better job, but it's not perfect, but it's cleared up. Future can work a lot of mechanics. Oh, and then you you work on the uh, canopy glass to slide back, and then all of a sudden that brace and that little antenna loop were too big, so I had to go back and, and redo it so that the can uh, canopies would not be interfering with it, or that they wouldn't interfere with the canopies. Yep, tug on one thread, and another one unravels. <laughs> anyway, like don't be an all philosophic. Yeah. All right, and one I didn't, one picture I didn't put up. I wish I had. I'll show you. Uh, all right, over here. Well, you're really, you're keeping them all enthusiastic. There it is, the yellow winged bird. Frankie did the wartime blue gray one, so to be a contrast and let you modelers see what the kit can provide. I'm gonna do the yellow winged bird. And the picture I didn't show you. When you do primary colors, red, blue, and uh, yellow, and metallics, I always undercoat. So on the wings, as like a uh, base, I put a buff, a you know, buff color. And I put a light brown where the red is. And I put a light gray where the silver is. And it seems to give it some good tooth. And it, and it goes on a lot, lot easier, and it looks a lot better with having those undercoats. So it looked weird. It had buff wings, a gray body, and a brown tail. But once you paint the other colors on it, it looks pretty good. And then I hand painted the walk walkways. But she's coming along here, Frankie. You're a lot quicker builder than I am. You're already on other stuff, but I'll catch up. There she is. Yeah, Bill, looking good. Yeah, Bill, you really did a good job. Uh -huh. That's right, head, head. 
Frankie says it's only got the one gun, but I did some research. This little hole right here on the, is the cowling. That's where the other one machine gun is. The machine gun's in there. So I did have one little machine gun for the pilot to shoot, but not a lot. It's like spitting. He's spitting at them zeros. So one little machine gun there, and one little machine gun there. I think they all turn out pretty good, the, the primary colors. It's just quite a striking looking plane now. Ooh, yellow and blue. Yellow and St. Canary yellow. <laughs> Shut up, Bill. Shut up. All right, guys, keep building. I hope you guys can join Frankie's uh, appreciation group, Bill. He's a great modeler, a real, real treasure to the community and everything. And uh, Al, thanks for hosting us. And uh, let's let's have some fun, build some models, and honor Frankie. Till next time, Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker saying, "I'll be the same, my dominant hair." Oh, oh, juice, waka waka. Oh shit. Just an add-on, guys. I want you to see how weird it looked with the undercoat. The gray on the fuselage mane and then the uh, buff on the wings and the brown tail. But it really helps putting that undercoat on there to uh, give it some tooth when you put those primary and uh, metallic colors down. Alright. So, there you go. Mm. Choose, baby. There's the good boys having some bonbons. But they throw some bonbons on the ground and the puppy gets some bonbons. Tell I don't want your bonbons. Fine. You can go eat your bum bones. Hmm? You guys full? You didn't have no breakfast. You want the bum bones? Moody fucking dogs, man. <laughs> Pardon my French. Alright, guys, you get to see them. They're being moody today. Poodles in a bulldog body. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Till next time, Panzerman out.